Hey guys, welcome back to Groovy Post, and today I'm going to show you how to reduce your Excel file size. And the reason we're making this video is because the more data you put into your worksheet, the bigger the file. And if your Excel file becomes too large, it may be impractical to easily email to colleagues or clients. So today I'm going to show you how to reduce your file size in Excel. So the first tip I'm going to show you is deleting worksheets. Using multiple worksheets in Excel makes it easier to structure your spreadsheets, but the more worksheets you use, the larger your file size will be. So removing unneeded worksheets can help to bring the file size down. So what you wanna do is you wanna come down to these worksheets that are not needed or don't have important information on them and have no references to your other sheets. You wanna right click on them and then select delete. Then you'll get a pop-up and then select delete. You want to do that for any that don't have any data or references with your other worksheets. The second option is deleting your pivot table caches. Pivot tables in Excel are great ways to analyze your data, but they can have a significant impact on the size of your Excel files. So to stop the pivot cache from saving in Excel, what you want to do is select any cell in your pivot table, open pivot table analyze menu, select options, then select the data tab and then ensure that save source data with file is unchecked. And then click OK. The next option, you want to save your formulas as values. So use the keyboard shortcut Control C on Windows or Command C on Mac to copy the cell. Alternatively, you can right click on it and select copy. And then select paste special, go to values and then your formula will be replaced with the value of its result. And then the other option is to remove or compress pictures. To do that, select the picture on your spreadsheet, go to the picture format tab, press the compress pictures icon, select a resolution. The lower the resolution, the smaller your Excel file size will be. So keep that in mind. And then ensure that delete cropped areas of pictures is selected. And then if you want to apply the same compression to all of your other pictures, make sure that the apply only to this picture checkbox isn't selected. And then click OK. And then the last option is you save an Excel file in a Excel binary workbook format. To do that, you go to file, go to save as or save a copy. And then from the list of formats, you want to select this one right here, Excel binary workbook. And that's basically it. If you've learned something from the video and you found this helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section and I'll see you in the next one.